What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are going to be using Golduck on the rank ladder, but not just any Golduck team. We got ourselves a Steam Engine Weakness Policy Colossal team that features Golduck. You guys are a no deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my content but gold luck is one of those pokemon from gen 1 that i always thought was really cool but it's not too strong on the rank ladder so i think like with this combo with the steam engine colossal it can actually give it some value and makes it and make it decently well on the rank ladder so cannot wait to use gold luck and rock out with the colossal combo because you guys know that combo it's really really strong it is just it's perfect it is a perfect strong combo but with that out the way let's get started here in that top left corner with today's team preview start off with the one and only kyogre Drizzle and Life Orb. This Pokemon is going to be phenomenal in the Dynamax form, being able to do some crazy damage in the rain. It's got Thunder, it's got Water Spout, Origin Pulse, and Protect for its four moves. Second Pokemon is going to be Golduck. And Golduck can be used in two different ways. It got Swift Swim, so it can pair up in the rain with the Golduck, or it can be used with the Aqua Jet and the Colossal combo, but I think that's pretty cool. I like him in the Swift Swim, but more importantly, I do like him more so with that Colossal. This thing has Aqua Jet for first in priority, Soak to change Pokemon's typing the water, and it's got Icy Wind for speed control, and Hypnosis to put Pokemon asleep. Middle left is going to be our Zero Aura over here. Zero Aura has Volt Absorb, alongside with the Choice Scarf, and then it's got Plasma Fist, Coaching to pair up with that uh, Groudon, and then it's got Snarl for special attack jobs, alongside with E-Web for speed control. Fourth Pokemon is going to be that Colossal. Colossal, you guys are going to deal with him. Has that Steam Engine, it has that Weakness Policy, so when it gets gets hit by a super effective shot, its Weakness Policy is going to proc, giving it a plus two attack boost. Then on top of that, Steam Engine is going to proc as well, giving it a plus six speed boost. So this thing's going to be really fast, being able to hit like a truck. It's just going to be great all around. It's got Solar Beam, Heat Wave, Meteor Beam, and Protect for its four moves. Bottom left hand corner is the strongest Pokemon in the game. It's Zacian. I'm not even going to go over it because it is the normal Zacian moveset. Final Pokemon is going to be Groudon over here with a Drought and the Assault Vest. Great moveset for him with Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, Precipice Blades, and Rock Slide. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Golduck Colossal team. First match coming at you guys, and this looks like an easy one for us. As you guys can tell, we're back on the casual ladder for today's video because one, I still cannot, well, sometimes I can find rank battles, but as of right now, not finding any rank battles, waited about 20 minutes. I was just like, screw it, let's hop on the casual ladder. And um, another reason is why is because we're getting a lot cooler teams. We're going up against cooler teams. I feel like it's more fun to play casual right now with the whole meta situation. Like the meta is not too fun and it is the same thing every single time. So casual ladder definitely has been fun. So hopefully you guys still enjoy. If you guys are enjoying the casual battles, please let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, this one should be an easy one for us. I'm just going to rock out with our boy Colossal. They named the Easy Bake, which I love. And then we got Golduck chilling here. So they are going to be a perfect combo to lead into. And then in the back end, I'm just going to bring Sarah Aura, and I think Kyogre can be really good here as well. So I'm just going to bring them both in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to lock it in. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But I, I feel like up against this team, the Colossal and Golden combo should just be able to get after it. Just take out most. And another good thing about this uh, Golduck is going to be it has Soak. So Soak can actually pair up with this Colossal too because it does have a grass move. I can change any Pokemon type in the water and then just go after it from that. But uh, he's going to end up sending out Jirachi and Tapu Koko. Ooh, yo, shiny Jirachi. Ooh, looks so cool. It looks so cool. But Golduck's going to come out of here. I got shiny Pokemon as well. Eat me. Get him out of here. My Colossal is not shiny, though. That sucks. But it's all good. But this is, should just be an easy Dynamax and take out the Tapu Koko, right? Wait, do we get rid of the, the Tapu Koko with this uh, Bulkleth? I believe we do. So we're going to Bulkleth into him. I'm just going to straight up Aqua Jet. Right into my boy Easy Bake Oven, <laughs> and we're just gonna get ripping about him one. But yeah, the Colossal combo is actually like one of the strongest combos in the game. But the problem is, it is so predictable. It really is so predictable. When it first came out, everybody was just like, okay, and not really like thinking much of it. And people were just getting steamrolled by Colossal. But ever since like it kind of like became like a thing where everybody knows how powerful it is, everybody predicts it as lead, and it's very very hard to pull off. But we're gonna go Aqua Jet here, and then we are just gonna. Say see you later, top of Coco right here. So Coco's gonna be gone, and then uh, Jirachi. I don't really see Jirachi doing too much damage here. Like Jirachi's an okay Pokemon. I don't think it's anything special. Its stats are so even that it makes it kind of bad. <laughs> like it doesn't thrive in any one category, and that's usually what makes a Pokemon team so good. It's like when you use different Pokemon that are really good in each category, not just a neutral Pokemon. And that's why Zacian's so good. He's just an attacker, and he's insanely strong. So everybody uses it and he gets after it. But Doom Desire's gonna come out of here. 
And what does this move even do? What the I'm looking this up. What does Doom Desire do? Give me one second. I got my I got my other monitor right here. We're looking this up. Doom Desire Pokemon. Let's see. Let's see. Doom Desire is a steel type main move in Poke. Uh, it just says Pokemon Go. No. We want it in games. Okay, two turns after the move is selected, Doom Desire will deal damage if the opponent switch Pokemon. If the opponent switch Pokemon in the meantime, the damage dealt will depend on the special defense of its Pokemon, not the Pokemon it was. Okay, so it's actually a base 120 steel move. No, base 140. But it happens in two turns. Okay, so eventually I'm gonna get hit by this, and I kind of want to see it, so I'm just gonna target down this uh, Reggie Ice, even though I was gonna do it anyway. I'm just gonna do that, and you know I'm just gonna put this Jirachi to sleep. That's a really cool move, Doom Desire. Oh no, he cancels the battle. We wanted to see it. I really want to see that Doom Desire move in Battle One, but our opponent canceled. It's all good. We take that win, but we're hopping into our second battle. And we're going up against a pretty strong team. He's got Mars Shadow. He's also rocking Kieran White, Mimikyu to maybe pop Trick Room or do other things, and then Urshfu. So we could definitely go into the Steam Engine combo again, but I'm not gonna do it. I might just go Golduck here. Actually, I don't. Actually, I could go Swift Swim Golduck. I could go Swift Swim Golduck and change typings with Kyogre, and then just Max Lightning. I kind of dig that. We're going to go with Golduck and Kyogre there. Bring my boy Zacian in the back end because Zacian doesn't work on a lot of these guys. Then I'm kind of digging Zero Aura here, but I could go in the Groudon. So it's either Groudon or Zero Aura. I feel like Zero Aura is going to be a play because we thrive so much with the rain. I really don't want to change up the weather. So I'm going to bring Zero Aura in the back end. We're going to get rolling here in battle number two. But dude, I looked up the move and everything for that last battle. I was so ready to see it. And then he canceled it. I was like, oh, come on now. When I wanted my Pokemon to get hit, they canceled the battle. But... Something I forgot to ask you guys in battle number one was question of the day, and that is, what is your favorite water type Pokemon from generation one? There are so many cool ones. For me personally, I absolutely always love either Lapras or Starmie. They were always on my playthrough teams, so I think those are going to be my answers. You guys got to let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. And no Blastoise answer. Blastoise is amazing, but he's the, he's the, he's the obvious answer. He's the obvious answer, so I'm not going to take that. I'm not going to take that. Ooh, Gyarados is sick, though. We do like Gyarados. We do like Gyarados, but... uh. You guys gotta let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. But he's gonna go Grimstar. Looks like Corsola. And I kinda just wanna soak this thing, right? I kinda just wanna soak it and then Dynamax and Max Lightning. Seems like the best play, right? Seems like the best play. Yo, Golduck's the man, dude. I think Golduck looks so sick. I'm trying to think of other cool water types in Gen 1. You got the Carp, you got the Gyarados. I think I named a lot of them. <laughs> like Lapras, Blastoids, Star Hue, Star Me. You got Sea King. Uh, who else is there? I might be forgetting a banger. That's on me. Surprisingly, Dracini's not a water type, even though you catch him in the water. I think it's just an awesome dragon. But we're gonna Dynamax the lovely little ogre. I love it. His name's Teeth. And it makes sense because you just see its teeth. <laughs> but uh, let's see. He goes for Light Stream, which is a pretty smart play. I mean, it's gonna neglect a lot of the damage coming through. But we are still going to soak up this course light. We said, hey, yo, that typing you have, we, 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 don't, we don't like that. You can you can become water typing. We'll change you to water typing, and we will drop a max lightning on this thing. Which he should be able to soak pretty well, I'm not going to lie. This thing is really bulky, and then have an HP on top of that. Ugh. Thing is nasty. Um, I might just put the sleep next turn, and just start going after Grimstone. That might be my play. We shall see. He's going to go for a will -O How dare you? How dare you go for a will -O and burn me? Not cool, man. Not cool. Um, another Max Lightning will take out that Corsola. So do I want to go after Corsola and go for the Grimstar to put to sleep? I think it's going to be my play. Wait a minute. Will it boost Kai? Yeah, it will boost Kyogre's. Uh... It should boost Kyogre's electric damage here. Right? Let's go to Electric Train for five turns. Pokemon on the ground won't fall asleep. Ooh, that's good to know because we're using Hypnosis. Power of Electric type moves are boosted. Okay, so we are burned. Aqua Jet's really going to do nothing. I could change the typing. Or it could slow down, or it could swap here. Swap wouldn't be a bad play, especially in the Zero Aura. I am kind of digging this, so I am going to go into Zero Aura here. And I think I'm just still going to max lightning over into this uh, the slot right here. We'll save her Gold Luck, because Gold Luck could be really good on the Hypnosis later in the match. I do dig it. I'm going to swap into Zero Aura here. I think we could take out Corsola here. And Grimstar's just going to go for a Taunt. I'm totally cool with. A choice scarf, I'm ready to hit up on some Pokemon. 
The Max Lightning's gonna fly, and it should say bye-bye to this Pokemon, right? Correct? Get him on out of here? Beautiful. So thank you, Electric Terrain, for giving me that extra boost of damage to be able to take out this Pokemon. And now I can probably get off one more solid turn with Kyogre with a Geyser. And do as much damage as I possibly can. Which I think I should go after Grimstone, right? Makes no sense. I could E-Web it also slow down with, uh, my boy Zero Aura. But yeah, Corsola is a pain, especially in, uh, what is it, Singles? Singles is a really strong Pokemon. It really is. I haven't played singles in a while. When I first started making videos, I was doing single battles. Then I got into doubles, which I absolutely love doubles more. And so I feel like the, most of the Pokemon community does because doubles, there's a lot more versatility towards it. And another thing is singles. It's just like a lot of it's like the same Pokemon. Like you can use Toxapec and Ferrothorn so much and just kill it. Same thing with uh, Urshfu. When Urshfu came in here, Solos, he was dominating. But uh, from here, I'm just going to E-Web slow down just to make sure my Pokemon outspeed later in the match. I'm just gonna guys just come start a slot with a base 150 move, have it stab, have it life orb, and then have the rain boost. Woo! So 1.3 times boost from the life orb, 1.2 times boost from the rain, and 1.5 times boost from stab. Come on now, come on now. Gonna do some big damage even through the light screen. I think it's still my KO, but I'm not really worried about this Kieran White right here. I really am not. I'm just gonna slow it down because I have Zassian in the back end, and we all know Zassian can rip it in that thing and take it out in one shot. No problem whatsoever. No problem, no problem. He might set up a reflect here. I don't know. But I'm not really too worried about the secure, like I said. I can bring his ass in at any time and just take it out. So he's gonna Dynamax this Pokemon. Probably dropping a Hailstorm, right? That's fine. He's probably dropping a Hailstorm into my Zero War slot, but Zero War's gonna outspeed due to choice two hours. Slow him down, allow my Kai Ogre to outspeed, get off a shot onto the Grim Snarl. But there goes the reflect. He sets that up. That's fine. I wish I had like Brick Break or something. Take off these screens. But I wish there was like a G Max move that takes out screens. That would be really powerful. That would be really good too. It probably is. It's probably just on a terrible Pokemon. But we drop speed. We go for the Geyser. I still think this takes out Grimstar all day. Correct? Right? Show it to me. Yeah, yo. No screen is helping him out from a Max Geyser from Kyogre in the ring. End of the life orb. Like, we're just doing crazy amount of damage with it. <laughs> he goes for a Wormwind. Wow, he Wormwinds me. Like, going into Kyogre. He goes after my Ogre. My Ogre soaks really well. Soaks really well. Leaves us in there for another turn. I can E-Web yet again and get off an Origin Pulse. I'm all about it. I'm liking that. Attack drops from my Zero Aura, but again, he's just here slowing Pokemon down. And I have my Zacian. And I still have Golduck in the back end. Golduck's a man. I still have Golduck. Well, let's see who his final Pokemon is. It's going to be Urshifu here. And this should be fine by me. I mean, I just go into an E-Web, slow them both down, get off an Origin Pulse. Origin Pulse will take out that Urshifu. Right, that's Dark Urshifu. I believe so. Yeah. And then we just have Zacian for the 1v1. Easy peasy. GG's in a can. GG's in a can, and we have a solid second battle here where we go back to back, which is awesome. Because there's no way I'm losing this battle. I'm not losing it. No shot. No shot. See what he does here. I mean, I don't really think he has too much to go, go off. He might even cancel battle. He might even cancel battle. And yo, another thing I want to know in the comment section down below, are any of you guys getting the new Call of Duty? It actually just released today. A lot of people have been getting it. My friends have been getting it. But I'm more excited for the Warzone when it comes out because I feel like Call of Duty is just like the same thing every single time. So I might pick up the new Call of Duty, play a little bit with my friends, but I'm more excited for the Warzone. Definitely let me know if you guys got it and if you guys like it in the comment section down below. But we E-Web the Urshfu. E-Web the Kiram. We slow down our speed. Lovely little origin pulse should come out here if it connects on the Urshville. I'm gonna say bye bye to it. Oh, you out. You gotta be choice. You gotta be choice, my kind sir. You have got to be choice. That is a fast, fast archery. That's definitely choice. Minus one Urshville. Yeah, she's choice. Hailstorm flies. It's gonna take out my Zero Aura. Um, I don't think how we can go after this. I mean, obviously, we have the. Obviously, we have to blade into the what's it called. Well, this battle's actually gonna be. Did I, did I jinx myself? Did I, uh. Did I do it? Oh, we might lose this battle. The real question is do we think he's gonna guard? I could protect here. I mean, even through the reflect, I still feel like we KO this Kirim. But he could outspeed me. I can't put him to sleep. We still have these turns. Oh my god, we might lose this. 
Huh. Definitely gotta go into a blade here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go for the icy wind, I guess. I'm trying to slow him down. I could have protected that icy wind. Zassian actually might be faster than if this thing's choice. Zassian is fast. But we're gonna hope this thing doesn't max guard. We can just take it out. But I think even through the reflect, we still take it out. Super effective. Stab. We're plus one on attack. And he's dying to max up simple damage. So <laughs> it's just a ridiculous amount of damage on this Pokemon. We shall see. We shall see what he does. We're just hoping he doesn't guard. We might lose. If he guards, we might win this battle. But he's choosing a wicked blow, right? Yeah, he's choosing a wicked blow, which can still do a decent amount of damage. Hmm. I see you. I see you. We might jinx herself here. But the choice card first food definitely caused enough for him. Let's see how this one plays out here. No guard comes out. No guards, so Behemoth Blade flies. Like I said, this should be able to kill, right? No way this Reflect is, is, is keeping it from killing him. Yeah, cool. I was going to say. That, 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 that move was way too strong. We take him out here. We are going for an Ice Wind to slow him down here. And we're going to hope that this Urshu cannot kill my Zazim, which I don't think it can with a Wicked Blow. Go after my Duck. Go after my poor little Duck. Yeah, he goes after my Duck. He can't even kill my Duck. He can't even kill my Duck. Ice Wind's going to fly. Hey, that's gonna be GG's because I'm gonna play rough. Actually, do I even play rough? I don't even think I play rough. I don't even think I play rough. The reason I say that is because I miss play roughs too many times. Too many times I miss play roughs. We get the speed control here. First, we gonna take some buffets. And I'm gonna take some burns. And then, legit, I'm just gonna go into. Ooh, I actually disappear. I could go into a hypnosis, but. I think we just double down this Pokemon. I could go for Sacred Sword. Actually, Sacred Sword would be the best play. 100 actually way better than uh way better than what's it called then play rough but i think our opponent's just gonna cancel out of here right or he might stay in you never know he knows we're burned he knows we're burned but he's choosing to wicked blow he ain't killing my ass here he just turns off his console we love it we love making people turn off their consoles final battle coming at you guys and it looks like we have ourselves a winning record right here this guy has sylveon had what is that Pokemon called? Uh, Comfy, and then you got Snorlax, Incineroar, and Clefairy. This one is definitely going to be easy because my boy Zacian is going to be able to tear through every single one of these Pokemon. Pretty much. Pretty much every single one of these Pokemon. I'm going to lead it with the Zero Or. Actually, you know, we're just, just going to make this one quick. I'm going to go on with you, and it, it's GG's. Can, is there a way that we can only bring in both these Pokemon? I feel like we just bring in both these Pokemon, we win this game pretty easily. But then we'll bring in Groudon and Zeraora. We'll lock it in, we'll lock it down, and I think I got you guys a nice little perfect record for today's video. But the teams we went up against were fairly easy. The second battle was actually uh, a decent battle. Came actually really, really close considering that uh, that Urshifu was choice. But I feel like the first and third battle, definitely in our favor. We just kind of just dominate these battles. Considering I didn't even play this third battle yet. So I don't even know how it's going to go, but I feel, like it's, I feel like it's over. Right? I feel like it is over. But he's going to send out... Hatterene and Confi. Look at this. I got a lovely little Zacian. So if he's going to Dynamax any Pokemon, it's going to be Hatterene. I mean, he could pop a Trick Room, but I feel like I just pop a Water Spout into a uh, Behemoth Blade and I just say, good game. All right. I mean, both our Pokemon outspeed unless he's going for like a Triage, Triage uh, Giga Drain. But at that point, we should still be able to do a cool amount of damage. But I feel like one of them could go for a Trick Room. I'm just going to do that and I'm just going to pop this. Say see you later. So if one of them is Focus Ash, like the Hatterene, we'll take it out. But I don't think the the what's called would be Focus Ash. The Comfy. I feel like more so would be like, it would be a like Babiri Berry. Or Steel Shot moves. But I feel like we could just rip into this one and take this battle pretty simple, pretty easily. Wouldn't be surprised to see this dude cancel battle this turn. He's gonna Dynamax. See you later, Hatterene. <laughs> Dynamax and yo, you got some Moxie. Dynamax and a Hatterene in front of his ass here. That's, that is the definition of Moxie right there. Like, what do you think I'm going to do? You, you don't think I'm dropping a Behemoth Blade right into your mitt? You don't think I'm doing that? Like, like does this person think I'm not doing that? I think we're going to see a console turn off right here. I think we're going to see a console turn off right here after this move. I really do. I really think we're going to see a disconnect. So, Behemoth Blade flies through, and it, yeah. There's the Focus Ash, and we have Water Spout, just in case. Coming in hot. I think Confi's going for Trick Room. Could be. Can we take out the Confi too? Oh my god, yeah. We're going to see a console turn off. No problem. Console off. Oh, right? Turn it off. Just turn it off. You know it's over. You know you, This dude just picked up a switch and threw it through the wall, I think. 
Nah, he didn't. The console did not turn off. It's all good. He's standing here a little bit longer. He came to play. But we we, we knew this one would be a quick and easy one. <laughs> we knew it from the jump. And then he especially like coffee and had a bean. I was like, dude, it's over. It is over. We're gonna bring in Snorlax. Um, I'm not even gonna have the Dynamax here. Just a water spout into and then double down the Snorlax, right? Oh yeah, all day. All oh, dang day. All oh, dang day. But yo, Snorlax looks sick. Love me some Snorlax, but I'm gonna do this. Can pop the water spout. That's gonna be GG's. This guy canceling battle. Yeah, yeah. There, there it is. There it is. Perfect record for today's video. Probably one of my easiest perfect records I ever gotten. Like I said, we were on the casual ladder, but we still dominated and got to showcase all these Pokemon and the Gold Luck and Colossal combo. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.